In this video, I wanted to share how autistic people can be more empathetic than what you might realise. Well, hello into people, and if you're brand new to my channel, I make weekly autism content talking about autism from my experiences as an autistic person. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell. Autism and empathy is something that is massively misunderstood within the world of autism and something that I wanted to clarify, unravel this misconception that autistic people can't show empathy, feel empathy or can't be empathetic. But firstly to start off this video I wanted to discuss what is empathy so we have a clear understanding of what empathy is in the grand scheme of things. The definition of empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another which I'm going to clarify here is being different to sympathy and sympathy is a shared feeling usually of sorrow, pity or compassion for another person. But empathy is where you allow yourself to be in their shoes, like actually be in the shoes of this person that you have concerns about and trying to understand the feelings that they are experiencing. When it comes to the idea of being in someone else's shoes, trying to understand what they are feeling and thinking in things, understanding their body language, understanding the way that they're speaking and you know taking in all of the little mannerisms and all of the little details that make up how someone is feeling inside this is something that I'm just completely and utterly just bewildered by because it's not painfully obvious to me sometimes when someone is feeling a certain way so when it comes to situations where empathy is required or needed it can be hard for me to reciprocate that however I feel there is a massive misconception with this whole idea that autistic people don't understand empathy or can't understand empathy or autistic people aren't empathetic there is more to empathy than just the statement that I made at the beginning of the video as we're going to talk about the three types of empathy which the research that I did for this video the links and things are going to be down below just for reference. Cognitive empathy also known as perspective taking is where you're able to put yourself into someone else's shoes and see their perspective which from the opening statement the opening general idea of empathy that's a main part of that description. But the other two types of empathy, which I'm gonna go into in a second, really broaden the understanding of empathy and how actually autistic people can be more empathetic than what you realize. So for example, affective or emotional empathy is where you can feel the other person's emotions alongside them. So when you're with that person who is experiencing sadness, for example, just a generic example, someone is is experiencing the emotion of sadness. When you're with that person, you are feeling the same emotion that they are. And compassionate empathy takes things a little bit further. You know, you feel the emotion or the pain from the other person, but you actually take steps, take action to actually help that person. So those are the three types of empathy and I would love to hear from you, you know, which one of these do you experience the most or do you feel like you experience a mixture of these different types of empathy? Let me know down below. It would be really interesting to hear what you have to think on this whole topic of autism and empathy. So basically when it comes to the world of autism, autistic people and things, you know, people have talked about how often when they're in a situation where empathy is one of the things that is needed to help another person. You can feel the emotions very strongly off the other person, but sometimes it's not reflected in the way that they talk to the person or reflected on their face. But also when it comes to people being sad and things, you know, when it's an autistic person, they try to help them feel better about themselves or just try to help them move away from that negative feeling or emotion. Though we do feel emotions, it's sometimes hard to express that emotion, whether it's on our faces or the way that we present ourselves in terms of body language or tone of voice. You know, all of these little markers that indicate how we are feeling inside might be miscommunicated when we actually present them to the person in question. But sometimes as well, autistic people may not be able to understand the emotion or feeling that they are 
feeling in that moment or be able to even label it, which is actually a personality construct called the lexithymia, which I made a whole video about a couple of weeks ago. It'll be linked down below and at the end screen of this video. So stick around for that if you're interested in learning a bit more about that. So ultimately, can autistic people feel empathy? I would love to know your thoughts after watching this video down below in the comments. But for me personally, as an autistic person, yes. I personally believe that autistic people like myself can feel empathy, be empathetic and just be there for people when they need someone to be empathetic. Because for me, and I can only speak for myself here, when I'm with a person who is feeling a certain way, I can often feel their emotions and how they are feeling. Even if sometimes I might not understand that sensation for myself, I can still feel that and maybe a bit later on I can try and sit down and figure it out for myself. But most importantly for me, when someone's upset or, you know, they're sad or, you know, I don't know, they're just not feeling great, you know, I want to help them and I want to be there for them. Even if I'm not the most emotional person in the world and sometimes I can miss the mark, it doesn't mean that I don't care. It doesn't mean that I can't show empathy. Sometimes it just comes across in a way that is a little bit different. And that is also okay because difference makes the world go around, like I say in these videos quite often. So I can feel other people's emotions. I can try my best to be empathetic by trying to help them practically by taking action for them, which is all empathy. And other autistic people try to do the same thing. Just because autistic people might have a different way of approaching things, a different way of approaching empathy and understanding feelings and things, I don't think it's very fair to say that all autistic people can't feel empathy purely because they might misunderstand or they can't put themselves in someone else's shoes because, I mean, we're just us. <laughs> you know, how could we be someone else or try to think like another person. It's just a really hard thing to get a grasp of. So do you think or to see people understand, feel or even show empathy? Let me know down below in the comments. If you want to know a little bit more about alexithymia and how it ties in with empathy, I would highly recommend clicking the video on screen right now. But for now, stay you, stay indie. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.